Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your guide Elena from the corridor. Bon appetit for Darina. Hello there. Bon appetit for my children. Hi Taras. Hi there. We are in the corridor with our cat. He's next to us. Uh, because today, like, we came back home and there was an air raid alarm on. Uh, and uh, just in case, we spend this time in the corridor. It's almost one hour now of this air uh, that we are noticed that the danger is in the air, which means Russia launched or keeps launching some missiles. Uh, in our direction, in direction of Kiev and many other regions of Ukraine. And uh, by our Ukrainian authorities, we are advised to stay in the shelter. Well, the shelter is quite far away. And uh, yesterday there were, I think, four air alerts. Today, were, this night, there were three of them. And now it started again. What can I say? You know, the 9th of May is coming. This is the day when Russians celebrate the so-called Victory Day in the Great Patriotic War, what you call the Second World War. And for them, it's like super important to get some kind of victory for the 9th of May. And uh, this is the old Soviet tradition to dedicate some military victories to the to exact dates and celebrations. Uh, so this, the next three days, there will be a lot of tension, I'm afraid. Hello, Wench. Why are you not sleeping at four o'clock in the morning in 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 uh, uh, Anchorage? Is this how uh, you you pronounce the name of of the city? Or it 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 looks like. I, I know it's like American, but it looks the the word itself it looks French. It wasn't showing this American. Oh, you fell asleep on sofa. Why did you wake up then? <laughs> Go back sleeping. Yeah, everybody are very much concerned regarding the 9th of May, and we are concerned too. Encourage, like this, encourage. And we are not exception. Yesterday I filmed on my GoPro camera many episodes to show you my typical day. Uh, and now I I hope to edit it on my computer, but the thing is, because of this air alert, we stay in the corridor with children. Aww. Maybe I will just go out. Mm. And like, I mean go out to the to the room. Darinka, op. Taras, ty co nechováš se? You see, Taras is not hiding. Go back to the corridor, Taras. Oh, you must go back. Go back to the corridor. Go back to the corridor. So they are eating some vegetables and meat, healthy food, just boiled chicken meat, chicken breast, and where are the onions? Oh, onions, um, cucumbers. Here were cucumbers and some tomatoes. Okay, so kids are eating meat with vegetables. Very healthy food. Okay, Moiska. <laughs> Moiska feels the danger. The cat stays in the corner behind the second wall. So he is not over there near the window. <laughs> he is behind the second wall. Like he, he feels something maybe. Uh, you say stay safe and the video shall wait. I'm not sure. I mean, may maybe what if uh, I die today and you will never see this video. So I should. The last time I opened this program, which is Da Vinci Resolve, was just before the war. Uh, the problem is that doing this with Darina is not easy now not anymore because now she is like trying to catch everything before i could just give her my breast and she would just you know eat this but now here we go but now it's not that easy because she wants to 
to to get things. Cut. Хватит. Life is confusing. You won't die. I, I will one day. Of course, I hope that it will not happen to me in the next few days. But today, uh, I uh, I was trying to understand my um, uh, condition in which I I'm staying since the war have started. It's like, uh, and I found out that this condition is what uh, samurai, how you call it in English, are saying to themselves, like. Imagine that you are already dead and it will be easier for you to continue living. So. No, 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 no. We have read where Russia is running out of missiles And their May parade will be very depleted of equipment due to Ukrainian brilliance on shooting down and destroying their equipment. Yeah, this is what I've heard too. This is quite optimistic. But of course, we are concerned regarding nukes, right? We are concerned about many other things. Taras, they don't take it seriously, you see? Maybe this is good. Maybe this is good. Each day is a blessing. Yes, this is what what I feel. But I'm I'm trying to stay careful and uh, when it's possible, yes. Like for example, right now not to sit at the window but to stay in the corridor. It's not like this was, will help in case of direct uh, <laughs> you know attack, air attack. But if for example, the glass blows out of the windows, this will save our skin from sharp pieces of, of the glass. Like this. So, anyway, the next three days will be quite stressful. Uh, today I cancelled uh, the visit of my children to the psychologist because her office is on the left bank of Kiev, which means on the other side of the city. Uh, and I was not psychologically able to take them far away from the shelter and uh, from from our storage of drinking water and food. Uh, yes, and just to be separated from my sister, even from my sister by the, the river. So we stay in our district, in our neighborhood. And of course, we hope that we'll be okay and nothing bad happens to us personally. It would be nice if nothing bad happens to other people in Ukraine too. We keep praying for Mariupol, for guys from Azov style who keep defending, you know, to the last breath. Mariupol, they are motherland. Robert Wilson, you are the Russian propaganda troll. So. Stip the Stepan Bandera became Ukrainian hero only because Russia demonized him. Uh, you'd better read more carefully. There is plenty of information. <sighs> plenty of information about Stepan Bandera. He is not Heil. Stepan Bandera was fighting against communists and against uh, Nazis yeah. as well at the same time. Thank you, thank you very much for your support, guys. Putin and Russians need Jesus. Um, yes, I I really feel like uh, Putin is, is is you know the devil is inside of him and and the devil is in Russia. I don't know how this is really the, the danger for the whole world. This is what they are doing, not only only for Ukraine but 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 for the whole world. Oh, Berinka, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. <sighs> like this. The story of Azov Star is heartbreaking. I agree with you completely. Okay, so keep praying, keep hoping. Don't forget about us, please. About Ukraine. Katka is reading. I <laughs> 
Abetka, Ukrainian alphabet book. No i wsa ja. Dobre, kociki. Dobre. So thank you very much for your support. Thanks, thanks a lot for you guys that we are not fighting this devil alone, that the whole free world, the civilized world is standing with us and that we stand together and we do not allow this Satan, this Putin, you know, to frighten us. Because he is terrorizing the whole the whole world with his with his weapons. But this shouldn't be like this. He is a terrorist and he needs to be stopped. Uh, better to stop him in Ukraine than elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Why you say blessed Mother's Day? Is it, is it coming soon? The Mother's Day? Okay, I will, I will, I will check it. Check it. Hello, thank you. Sunday on Sunday. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, okay, okay. This is good. Unfortunately, my mother passed away, but a mother of my husband is still alive, and she is a very, a very brave woman. She supports Sergei, and her other son is in the army too. Sergei's brother is in the army. Dobre, Tarasik. So I will congratulate her tomorrow on the mother Mother's Day day. Okay, good luck. Then I say goodbye. Mom, say goodbye. She found her ear. Look, what's that? What's that on my head? Is it an ear? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, day for you, mothers. No, okay. Bye bye. Taras needs me. Bye bye, guys.